Okay, extra practice prongs, 6.9. Uh, we got a semi pulling two trailers. The force is 6,600 pounds. Uh, and then we get given the weights of the two trailers. There's two tons in the rear, three tons in the front. And uh, we're looking for the tension and the acceleration. So a standard prong. No friction, fortunately. So, uh, if you've done number 10, you'll see that this is a bit easier. So, uh, again, like I mentioned, we look at the rear trailer. Always look at the rear object first, because it has the least forces. So we got the screen here, tension. Normal force. Weight. Okay. This is two tons. Or 4,000 pounds. Okay, so what we need to find here is the tension. Uh, so we're gonna we we can ignore the weight and the FN because this object isn't moving. You know, it's not flying away. It's not going into the ground. It's only it's being pulled this way. So we gotta look at this force right here. There is friction resisting it. We would be looking at that, but there's no friction, so we don't care about it. So we consider the equation, sum of the forces, equals mass times acceleration. All the forces that we're looking at is just tension. So tension is going to equal the object's mass. Now we have 4,000 pounds as the mass. So before we go into this equation here, uh, we got to figure out the mass. Sorry, 4,000 pounds as the weight. So to find mass, let's look at the weight equation. Weight equals mass times gravity. So, 4,000 pounds equals mass times 32 feet per second squared. Because this is English, we divide both sides by 32 feet per second squared. And the pound is equal to slugs times feet per second squared. The feet per second squared cancels out. We end up with slugs. We have two sig figs. Um, so our number is going to be 130 slugs. 130 slugs is the mass. I'm going to take that, plug it into here. So tension is the force that we're looking at, equals. 30 slugs times acceleration. That's all we can do right now. We don't know what tension is, we don't know what acceleration is. So, as I mentioned, write this down because I'm going to erase it and we're going to look at the second object, but we're going to come back to that equation and do some substitution. So, let's look at the second crate. Do you give us crate number two? as something like this. Make sure I'm not going off the board here, okay. So again, going upwards, you can't see this, but it's normal force. And then down here is weight. Again, we can ignore these two. The normal force going up and the weight going down because there's no movement. This way we have the force of the truck pulling. And back here, we have the tension of the stream. So it's a T here, let me write it down here so you can see it. The tension, which is the same because it's the same stream. So they give us the force of the pull at 6,600 pounds. And that's a, that's a lot of force because this is a, a semi-truck. You know, it's pulling two trailers. This is that's pretty strong. Um, so. They give us the mass of this as 3 tons. Again, not the mass, it's the weight, uh, which is also equal to 6,000 pounds. I keep calling it mass, it's weight, yeah. This is the weight. We gotta find the mass. So again, we're gonna do the same equation. Weight equals the mass times the gravity. 6,000 pounds equals mass, what we're trying to find, times 32 feet per second, squared. Divide both sides by 32 feet per second squared. 
and then the mass carries down here. 6,000 divided by 32. We're looking for two significant figures here because 32 has two sig figs. This, uh, this 6,000 is technically um, as many sig figs as we want because the tons to pounds is an exact number. Uh, so we don't need to worry about the sig figs with that, but we have 32, so two sig figs. That comes out to 190 slugs. Okay, so we rounded that to 190. That's the mass. Okay, so we're going to take that. Make sure you have that written down. We now need to figure out the tension or the acceleration. So, again, this is the main equation in physics. Force equals mass times acceleration. Well, the forces we have here, again, going right, we're going to call this positive. Going left is going to be negative because that's the opposite direction. So going right, we have the force of the pull. We're going to call that capital F. Minus the tension, because it's going the opposite direction, is going to equal the mass of the object times the acceleration. Okay, so we'll plug in what we know. The force going this way is 6,600 pounds. Minus tension. We don't know what tension is, but we solved for tension as 130 slugs times acceleration. So we could plug tension in from our previous equation as 130 SL times A. That will equal the mass of the object Remember, we just uh, found what that was, 190 slugs, times acceleration, which we're trying to find. So, we got no unknowns uh, besides A. Only one unknown, which is what we want. We can isolate A and solve for A. So, first things first, we're going to combine like terms. We have slugs and slugs. It's actually a slug time acceleration, so we'll add 130 to both sides, so that leaves 6600 over here. And then 130 plus 190 is 320 slugs. So we write that just like this. Slug times acceleration. Then we want to isolate A, so we're going to divide both sides by 320 slugs. And that will leave A by itself, because we're getting rid of the 320 slugs here. And then we can expand the pounds, slug, times, foot, over a second squared. So, 320 slug. The slugs here cancel out. And then 6600 divided by 320 is going to equal 21 two significant figures, all this cancels out, the A drops down, and then our units are feet per second squared. Okay, so I'll write that up here for you. A is equal to 21 feet per second squared. It's kind of sloppy, but you get the point. Now we're not done yet. We need to find the tension between the strings here. So, let's go back to the first crate. You remember we solved for tension as, uh, let me see here, yes, 130 slugs. So, T equals 130 slugs times acceleration. Well, look at that, we got acceleration, so we can just plug that in. So, tension equals 130 slugs times 21 feet per second squared. We can go ahead and multiply that out and we will get T equals 2700 slugs times feet all over second squared which is just equal to 2700 newtons. And that is the tension in the chain. And yeah, that is a lot of tension. Um, but again, this is a semi. It's pulling with a force of 6,600 pounds.
this is a chain. You know, it can withstand a good amount of tension here. Um, so I'd say our numbers do seem reasonable for the stuff we're dealing with. But you know, obviously, if this, this were like a kid with a bike pulling two you know cardboard boxes with a weak string, uh, no way the tension is going to be 2,700 newtons. Or sorry, not no, not newtons. Pounds, 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 pounds. Almost messed myself up there. Um, yeah, 2,700 pounds. Uh, yeah, big number. You know, I only weigh like 115 pounds, so uh, that's a lot of Eli's. Um, but yeah, hope this clears some stuff up. If you still, you know, something's not clicking when you're going through it, again, just yeah, let me know. Um, it's important that you understand this stuff. All right, thank you.